Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. Uh, in the last episode, we beat Surge, and I think we wrapped up immediately after that. Yes, we are still in Vermilion. Um, still level 34 and everything, so we definitely just finished up what we were doing. Uh, we are... Are we still Deathless? Or did I lose... Oh, I lost the Lunatone, was it not? I lost the Lunatone to something stupid. I think that's about it. But aside from that, we're looking pretty solid. We got some good Pokemon. Uh, we got a Regigigas, we got the Kamoa, we got Blissey. Man, I haven't played this in a couple days, so I'm kind of forgetting where we were. But I... Let me see here. Did I get the HM for Flash? I did. Let me Poke Rider up here. And let's... Excuse me. Uh, make our way over to the Dark Cave. Uh, we're going to get a couple encounters, which will be good. Uh, card arts are not updated. Once again, like I said, I'm not really worried about the card arts right now. Um, so let's make our way downtown. I need to pull up the last video so I can get nicknames. Um, let's go right here. Perfect. Got it pulled up. I'm really enjoying this series, and the feedback's been really great from you guys. Uh, it seems like a lot of you guys are also really appreciating it and really enjoying the playthrough. Um, fake out? Is this really what we're doing? How many Pokemon do you got, buddy? Oh, okay. Oh, it's going to Strawberry. Pull those. Pull those. Cool. I should probably level up my team, because these guys are getting a little out of control. Mist Ball. Over... Refresh. Reflect type, no. Zen headbutt, no. You level you up. Knockoff. Ooh, I like knockoff. That is good. Sword stance. Ooh. Uh, instead of clear smog? I don't know if I'm going to bring this to the next battle. I don't really know. I'm just level these guys up just so I have something ready to go. That should be good. That should be good. Um, but yeah, it seems like people are really enjoying the series. The feedback's been pretty much unanimously pretty solid. A lot, of, Pretty much everybody that has been watching this has been telling me that they've enjoyed it. So I'm happy you guys have. Uh, I'm hoping I can keep it interesting. I'm going to try to, you know, do a better job of explaining my prep for battles. The, these birds are going to start chirping already. As soon as I start talking, they start chirping. That's the way it goes. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to, you know, streamline or streamline my process of prepping for a team and whatnot, figuring out what I'm going to do. Um, was I, does, was I deck stabbing my encounters? I actually don't remember if I was. I don't think I was. Cause I don't think I would have done mill tank. I, I don't know. I think I was, I don't think I would have gone Kamoa Regigigas. I definitely was. I definitely was. So let's see what we got here. We got Obstagoon. We got Cosmoem. Clodzire. Iron Bundle. Let's think. Let's think. I have really good water types. Drudagon. Low key. I really like Drudagon. Pure Dragon type isn't, you know, the most necessary thing. I do have Komoo and I do have Lottie. I do have Flapple. I do have like three really good dragons. Uh, let me see the nighttime encounters. Uh, okay, Nidal King. The Obstagoon's really not a bad idea. Dodrio Fire Ground. Claude's Eye or Poison Ground. What do I got for ground types? I got a potential Flygon. I have a Gly Score. I have Great Tusk. I'm really set at Ground and Dragon. Um, For dark types, I have Samurott, which is good. But the Samurott's the only dark type that I have. And with the upcoming uh, Sabrina battle, which will eventually be happening, it could be worth it to have it. Um, He's not really that great for that battle. Four times weakness is what's kind of scary. I do have this as well for dark type. Hmm. Anything else sticking out to me? The Claude's Ire. Like I said, I'm good with ground types. Um, Frigibax. Man. 
sometimes I almost want to just randomly get my Pokemon because, I mean, I feel like Cosmoem's a... I gotta go Cosmoem. I gotta go Cosmoem. I mean, it's one of the best Pokemon in the game. You get a Solgaleo or a Lunala. And, I mean, it's kind of hard to not take the opportunity for that when I, when I got it. So, let's go for the names. Let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go with... Hmm. You know what? Someone put the nickname Tiger, and I'm probably going to turn this into a Solgaleo, and I usually don't like using names that are, you know, kind of basic for what the Pokemon is, like naming a Solgaleo Tiger. But for some reason, it's speaking to me. For some reason. I'm kind of kind of down for it. Um. Oh, we have the... We have a battle coming up right now. Uh, this mini boss... This mini boss can be a problem. Um, it is the Spinda with Contrary and Assist. It can be very problematic. I need a Dark type for this. So I'm going to bring Samurott over the Hydrapple. They can have Fire move, Flying move, and Fighting move, which means you are really good because you you're immune to fighting, you resist the fire, and you're neutral to the flying. And you have clear smog. So you're definitely going to be good. Um, and I got the leftovers. I got Will-O-Wisp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to be you're gonna be the, the key to this whole thing. Let me actually just lead with you. And this should be just fine. Uh, it's not right here anyway. Will-O-Wisp, you baby doll eyes. Don't like that. Lava Plume. Lava Plume. Air Slash. Oh, thanks. Golbat. will wisp You confused me. I don't like that. It's going to Fatty. We go for Mist Ball. You gone. You. We go for... Yeah, I'm switching out. Ah, switch out. Let's go Strawberry. Bulldoze. Yeah. Poke up. All right, this battle right here. Uh, let me look at my movie learn. Can I get, like, plus defense? Do I have like anything like that? Um, what about TMs? I don't think I do. Could flame charge get a little quicker on things, but that's not really the end of the world. Um, I need to make, I need to put clear smog back on them actually though. I I unlearned it. Clear smog over. Shadow Snake? No. Or Sword Sense. I'm not setting up on this. That'll be fine. That'll get the job done. Mm -mm -mm. go comes out first. Um, He has Trick as well. I'm going to Willow us. He goes for the Dragon Ascent. It's Choice Scarfed. Dragon Ascent. Let me see what the stats change. Let me see what stat changes there are. Defense Falls. Special Defense Falls. Okay, so it's similar to like close combat, and they have so both of them drop defenses, close combat and dragon ascent. V create. On the other hand, oh, he swaps out immediately. I went for the lava plume. It does spinda. I get the burn. This is gonna be incredible. No burn. That's fine. Uh, I am just gonna will o wisp. You go for the assist. You get the close combat. Doesn't affect me. Will O Wisp on you. I'm just gonna lava plume. You again got close combat. Oh, you got close combat every single time. That is unfortunate for you, buddy. Oh my gosh, they're just having really bad luck, huh? Alright, easy battle. Uh you can't touch a dark type. That's why I brought this guy. I'm gonna ceaseless edge on the smeargle. I missed, of course. I'm gonna swap back and forth. I do not care. Easy peasy. All right. All right. That Pokemon pretty much walled the whole thing for us, which is good because that battle can get out of control pretty quickly. All right. Let's see what Pokemon are here. Tapu Fini. Oh, Heracross. Corsola. Skarmory is an old rod. Oh, I love Skarmory so much. Oh, I love Skarmory. All right. Tapu Fini. I know. I know. I have a lot of water types. 
But Tapu Fini is really... Oh, Sand Slash. My boy. My boy, Sand Slash. Oh. Wait a minute. Coughing. Could I get the Galarian? Uh, Arc Vizolt here, which is pretty cool. I feel like I have to go Sand Slash, right? Like, for the content? For the content. I gotta get my boy. I gotta get my boy. Gotta get my boy. He's actually really good in the Sabrina battle. It's really good in the Sabrina battle. Because the double battles having spiky shield and a lot of them are physical attackers and setting up like spikes and stuff and um it's actually really good. It did really when I did the Sabrina battle in my sand slash only run. If you want to watch that, I did a radical red run with only sand slashes. Uh but when I got to the Sabrina battle, it surprisingly was very good. It was extremely good. Alright, let's name this one. <laughs> let's go with actually let me go to a different video because I haven't looked back on the other video I haven't recorded since the last two videos so I want to get one from each I want to go back and forth uh, let's see let's go with Nala I had a cat named Nala back in the day we had Tiger and Nala look at that Nala was a tiger cat fun fact okay quick heal and we are into this cave. And let's see what is in Rock Tunnel for us. Um, We have Quilava. We have Lilip. Lilip's actually pretty solid. Ralligator. We already got a Mankey. Mm, nothing super, you know, calling to me there. Mail's one sounds kind of cool. Uh, for alligators, I have so many water types, though. I have so many water types. A pure fairy. I think I go Florges. I think I go Florges. I don't think I have, like, any good pure fairy types like that. So, it's a huge special defense tank. So, this is a good Pokemon. This is a good Pokemon. You want to learn Discharge? Um, no, you don't. Floet, we are going to name you... Uh, Zuez. <laughs> Long, long time ago, probably about three years ago now, or close to it, I misspelled the name Zeus. And I spelled it Z-U-E-S instead of Z-E-U-S. And it, we called it Zuez. It was a thunderous, I believe. And we called it Zuez for the rest of time. And it's a classic name, and I'm happy it has not gone away. Okay. Let's make our way through this. Ugh. Can I even, like, KO you? Yeah, I can. I'm really running a water team, bro. Come on, man. Let's do it with Julian instead. I could have checked down here for other encounters, too. I could... Oh, those Cresselia. Those Cresselias down here. Those Iron Valiant. Pseudo Widow. I honestly probably should, would have grabbed that Cresselia. Like, 100% I would have grabbed it. Cresselia is definitely better than Florges. Cresselia is broken. I feel like I've missed every single one of my uh, ceaseless edges. I don't like it. And I could have avoided the strainer very easily. Um, Let's go into you on the fighting move. Missed ball. Missed ball. Missed ball. Get you out of here. Um, we're gonna scald into ceaseless edge. These battles are like really like generally very easy, so that's why I'm not really stressing it. I'm just kind of speeding through these. So I'm like ten levels above all these, so I'm not really not really threatened by these fights. Um, you confused me. That's annoying. You willowist me. That's really annoying too. Oh, they're very good at being annoying. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but I think today's episode is pretty much going to be all encounters. I feel like we have so many to do. What's this? Max Ether. Not really worth. For the Scald. You confused me. I don't like that. Going to you. We Lava Plume. You go into this. We Lava Plume. Go get Rock Slide down here. 
And fight you. The water Tauros. Ooh. Go fatty. Missed ball. Missed ball. Missed ball. Quilava. Go Julian. We scald. You're dead. Cool. And I fought you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So many Pokemon. Everything with Confused Raid today. What is going on here? Everything. Okay. Void you. Void you. Get this TM. What is this TM? I don't think I ever paid attention. Iron Tail. I don't think I've ever used Iron Tail. <laughs> because it is not very accurate. And moves that are not accurate, I do not like. I don't like how much damage you're doing to me, buddy. Dragon Rage is not cool. Ceaseless Edge, you missed. Love it. Spark. Dragon Tail. Ceaseless Edge. Missed again. I have missed so many Ceaseless Edges. It's actually getting kind of annoying right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, I understand it's like 85% accurate, but sheesh, man. I'm in a business here. Gotta be able to hit my attacks, man. Hey, we landed. Nice. It does have one of the coolest animations. But, like, that doesn't... Too much laxes. That's just what you're working with today. Okay. Like, care package. Let's heal up. I'm going to check this route. Route 12. Let's see what we could fish up here. Alolan Sand Slash is here, too. Um... Old Rod would be Elgem or Eradicate. Good Rod would be Pupitar, Wimpod, or Polyrath. All three of those are really good. Um, I didn't get an Urshifu yet, right? No. I have so many water types. I could evolve this guy, too. I should. Anything else I can evolve? I can evolve these two. Let me do this real quick. I need to check the abilities on them. Um, Shadow Punch. Beautiful. Great Pokemon. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mystical Fire. Great move. Okay. Liquid Voice. Sound moves become water and boost by 20%. I don't know if you get Hyper Voice. Oh, in Mold Breaker. Moves can be used regardless of abilities. I don't think that's really that good for him. I don't think there's any situations where that's going to benefit. Levitate, ground move maybe. I don't think so. Um, okay, so the old rod encounters. I mean, two of them are water type and one's a good Pokemon. Scavalier is kind of cool. I do have a Scizor. Shinodix is kind of awesome. Mega Sharpedo is an option. Toxapex is great. Iron Valiant. Um... kind of tough i think i'm gonna wait i think i'm gonna save route 12 for another time i don't think i necessarily like need any of those pokemon right now like the ones that i can get with the fishing so i'm not gonna waste my time or waste the encounter you know because i can just save the encounter and do do it later in the grass when i get there later on okay okay uh delmize is a cool pokemon i actually really like delmize Gengar is also an option. I'm definitely lean in Gengar or Delmize. Two ghost types. Because what do I got for ghost types right now? I know I have several edge. Um, Cosmoem technically right now, but it's the only ghost type I, oh, I have Annihilate too. Hmm. Gyarados is a Gyarados gets Dragon Dance. By level up. Celebi. Ooh. Gumi. Ooh. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. For grass types, I got Flapple. I got Amoongus. Those are the only grass types I have. I think I go Celebi. I don't think I've ever used the Celebi in this. 
don't think I've ever had one. So this is exciting. I'm actually really excited about this. I don't think I've ever had a Celebi. Um, very solid Pokemon. Um, ability could be huge. Could be game breaking. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got for nicknames. Uh, let's go with Oso. I thought we had more nicknames, but apparently there's only like two or three people that put nicknames. Rick was one of them on both videos. Let's check. Oh, I could evolve this too. Do that after. Oh, I could evolve this as well. All right, I'm gonna evolve some Pokemon. I'm gonna evolve them. You. I just want to see your ability. Contrary. <gasps> I believe. Oh, do you get like Leaf Storm? I'm excited. I believe you evolve at level 44 in this game. Yes. Beautiful. Um, you. I believe you are a shiny stone, right? I don't know why I was just waiting. Yeah, shiny stone. Do I have a shiny stone? I mean, I'll be able to go buy one. Regardless. I don't know if I already used it. I already used mine. Okay, I have to go buy one. Gotta fight you first. Scald. Scald. Cease the edge. Knock off. Sort of all you. Get that. Oh. Root 7 is here. I'm gonna hold off on Root 7 because you get the static EV. You get two static Pokemon in here. So I want to get those before doing any encounters. That's how I always do it. But I want to get the shiny stone immediately. Uh, where are you at? Oh, wrong one. Shiny stone. I also still haven't decided what I'm going to do for the, uh, for the Eevee. I have not decided yet. Resist ghost and immune to status. That's pretty great. Fairy type is already so great, so gross defensively. Gross as in broken. And giving it a ghost uh, resistance is crazy. It is honestly crazy. Okay, let's go this way. We get the loaded dice right here. I have yet to use loaded dice. Uh, it's a great item. I just haven't found a time where I want to use it. Store Pokemon. We get the Eevee. And it is a Blastoise. Another water type. Alright. I don't know if we've already done a Trash Panda. I feel like we might have. Trash Panda is one of the OG names of the community. Trash Pandas. Simple. Cursed Body. What was yours again? Imposter? Oh, how do you even check? Oh. Oh, that's not what we want. That is not what you want. Oh, he doesn't get another ability either. Oh, that sucks. He doesn't get a second ability, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's just Levitate. That hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. Okay, Route 7. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Other static. Another static Pokemon. Oh, that sucks really bad. If he doesn't get another ability, that's going to be so unfortunate. All right, we get a Pikachu from him, which is actually a Bibberal with Fur Coat. Hey, you got a base 80 defense. That makes it 160, right? Isn't it double? It has physical damage. I mean, pretty much the same thing. Hey, yo, Fur Coat Bibberal. Not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. All right, give me the team. Let's go over here. And let's check the deck staff. What do we got? Toad School. Good, po good Pokemon. Tyranitar. Um, I don't know how great Tyranitar is, like, long term. I know it's a good Pokemon. Klefki, though. Because I don't... What do I have for Steel types? I have Scizor. And only Scizor. And low-key, I think Klefki is pretty solid. 
It's a really like it's a really good supporting Pokemon. I'm gonna go for it. It's a different Pokemon. Most people probably wouldn't go for the Klefki, but um, it can be really it can be really helpful. All right, what else we got? Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna name it Plate. Very random nicknames, but I'm down for it. And what do you got? Fluffy. It's already weak to fire, so I'm not standing against fire types, but it has contact moves. That's crazy. Two in a row with a similar ability. Similar abilities. Um, I don't know if we're going to take on Erica today. I'm actually not sure if we'll have time. Might. Might. Might do the prep for it at least. Meowscarada. I was just saying I don't really have the greatest grass types. Um, Dragon Steel. All right. I got Celebi for a grass type, which is an extremely good one. Grass Dark's pretty cool. Meowscarada is, you know, very fast. Very powerful. Fast U turn. It's a really good, just, it's a good mod in general. Um. What else is here? What else is here that's getting my attention? I like the buzz, maybe. I think I'm kind of good on that. Beware. Claude's Ire. For fighting types, I have a Pass Simeon and I have an Annihilate. And I have a uh, Great Tusk. I don't think I'd want anything over those. Um. So, electric typing. I have Zep Striker. That's it. Yikes! I could, I might have to go elect the buzz then. I'm not going Heliolisk. I think I have to go elect the buzz. Slagu, Hisuian Slagu is right there, which is an extremely good Pokemon. But I want to use some different mons. You have Frisk. It doesn't matter. You're gonna evolve. Uh, and for this, we're going to go with, back to Rick for a nickname, we're going to go with Zuku. Go with Zuku for a name. Did I, I didn't use Zuku on a name, I don't think. Not yet. I'll go get the Electorizer in a second. Um, and once I get all, everything evolved, then I can um, go look at all of the abilities for everybody. And that's going to be the whole episode, man. Probably. We might, we might start prepping the team for Erica, which Erica is not the worst team to prep for. It's, uh, I don't want to say straightforward, but it's not too bad. You know, a lot of the answers for her are pretty, like, you know, straightforward. All right. Electorize. Wait. What is it in this game? Is it a link cable? Link cable, okay. Link cable. Bam, bam. And let's see what you got. Weak armor. Um, speed raises aren't bad. I think he learns barrier too. he does i don't know why that's like first thing that came to mind was him learning barrier maybe he doesn't screech hmm let me just get the level ups on this guy why not huh not sure how i feel about that not sure how i feel but we got other abilities and stuff too we can check so I am going to give you the T. Yep. Get out of my face. Go down here. Use this PC just to say we've used it. Grab the TM for Psychic. From Mr. Psychic. And we are going to go through all of the abilities in our party. So first and foremost, any of the... Um, 
Paradox Mons, which I actually don't have that many. Regigigas doesn't get another ability. I know he doesn't. Um, I actually didn't end up with as many Paradox Mons as I thought. Interesting. So I guess I'll be able to check all the abilities. I still don't know about Eevee. I don't know. I need to evolve you. I'll just do that when it gets to my turn of using or picking you for evolutions. Clefki, put you up here. Bibberol, put you up here. And I believe all these Pokemon get a second ability. You are, I'm not, I'm not going to check you. Lottie only has Levitate too. I'll check it just in case, but pretty sure these two only have Levitate. Um, So yeah, let's recap our abilities. Plus, Heat Proof. Purifying Salt, Cursed Body, Weak Armor, and Intrepid Sword. And you don't have a hidden ability. Okay. Better than plus. Protosynthesis. Uh, I think Heat Proof is better. Unless I start... He does get Sunny Day, I think. Purifying Salt stays the same. Snow Warning, that's... Nice to know, though. Sand stream. All right, so we have sand and snow. We have two different weathers. Liquid voice. Sound moves become water type and boosted. Um, I don't know if that's really good. But we'll leave it anyway. You. Let's swap all these guys out. I don't know if Blissey gets a second ability. I think it doesn't, but... Check anyway. Okay. Recap of what we have. Drizzle. Do we have every weather? Besides sun right now. Shed skin, poison touch, screen cleaner, bad dreams, and self-sufficient. Nope. Nothing for Blissey. Unfortunate. Stench. Overgrow. Yeah, what? Slush Rush was the one? Technician. Ooh. Technician on this is actually kind of crazy. Makes Ancient Power boosted. Makes Wing Attack and especially Dual Wing Beat boosted. Oh, uh, Poison Touch is good, though, with U-Turn. Tough Claws and Emergency Exit. Okay, so I'm 100% switching you back. Yours is Tough Claws, which could be good. Uh, in your back to shed skin and you back to drizzle okay evil had stamina if I remember correctly right very good Pokemon Kamoa this is gonna be an important one Kamoa has the ability to be one of the best Pokemon in the game. And I don't think his ability was that great. Let's see. Earth Eater is... I mean, it would give me recovery on ground moves rather than just being immune. Which is whatever. Hustle. Yeah, we don't want Hustle. Fur Coat. Fluffy. Stamina. Suction Cups. I need to evolve you. Real quick like... These are all really good abilities, except for the Hustle. I can't be running uh, inaccurate moves. Okay, let's see what you got. Super Luck. Okay. Your ability changes. Yours changes. You don't have a hidden ability. You have Stakeout, and you have Competitive. Okay. Fluffy. Oh my god. Fluffy... Gly score, that's crazy. Competitive, much better, much better than hustle. Um, berserk, that's actually really good. Uh, I don't know if I want that or fluffy better. Um, ooh, both are good. Steam engine, being hit by fire, water moves, max of speed. I like stamina better. Stake out. Um, I'm going stamina on you, and super luck on you. Stake out's not bad, but. I think super luck just getting crits here and there are just really good okay starting with mill tank all right so far so good wait i put you back right yes 
Shuckle. So this is a big part of this playthrough of Radical Red. When you get to this person with the bottle caps who will, you know, check the second ability of your Pokemon or the hidden abilities. Um, it's extremely good. I'm 99% sure Scizor doesn't have a hidden ability. Uh, Strong Jaw, Mold Breaker, Download, Tough Claws, Striker, and Hard Hard On Engine. No ability for you. You get a second ability. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna stay strong, job. Bull Rush. I had one of these with Bull Rush. It's broken. Because turn one, you'll outspeed everything, and I can get a bulk up off immediately, which helps with Rage Fist. Or I could just hit it with like a Drain Punch right away. Something strong. That's super good for this. I've had that before, which is actually crazy. Contrary, reverses stat changes. Um, I don't know how great that's going to be. Download's definitely better. Magma Armor. I forget what his other ability was. I'll have to double check. You have Bull Rush as well. Oh, boost power by 20, 20%. Uh, Pokemon Bull Rush. Um... I'm going to look up the Pokemon Radical Red Abilities. I want to see, does it explain it better? Bull Rush. Speeds uh, attack by 1.2. Okay. Okay. So it's attack. It says power, so I didn't know if it was going to count physical and special. Uh, increases its speed, which is okay. And then Battle Armor protects against critical hits. Uh, your other ability was Hadron Engine, which could be good to have. Yours was Striker, which is not good. Yours was Tough Claws, which is not good. Uh, yours, Mold Breaker, no. And then I'm going to keep Download on you. All right. Uh, you don't get another ability. I'm going to double check, but I'm 99% sure they don't get another ability. Sand Slash. Uh, Clefable? I don't... I mean, uh, Celebi? I don't know if Celebi gets another ability. I really don't know. It's usually Natural Cure, I believe, right? Okay, Parasitic Waste. Contrary. Liquid Voice. Poison Heal. Imposter. Immunity. No hidden ability for you. Magic Guard. Tinted Lens. Oh, you do have a second ability. Nothing for you, though. Flygon has been saved. Well-baked body. Oh, boy. Much better than Parasitic Waste. You stay contrary. Lightning Rod. Oh, my God. That's so much better. Multi-scale. <gasps> Poison Heal is kind of cool on this, but multi-scale is just better. I think that's just better. Battle Armor. I don't care. It's not Imposter. <sighs> okay. Uh, what was yours? Liquid Voice. I think you get Hyper Voice, which would be kind of cool, like a cool tech. Uh, let me check. Uh, Radical Red Pokedex. Let's go to what is that Pokemon's name? I'm blanking. Delphox. I wasn't even close to remembering that. I'm not going to lie to you. Delphox, let's see your attacks. Um, so far, nothing. Nothing there. I think Hyper Voice is the only thing that might fit. I don't know if you get it. I don't see it right now. Sleep Talk. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, mm, I don't see it. So you don't benefit from that at all. So you keep, you keep the Lightning Rod for sure. All right. So that is all of the abilities that we got. Um... Pretty happy. Honestly, pretty happy with it. This first gym. This first gym. The Erica battle. I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do a quick re a quick team build for this. Uh to get started. So a lead Pokemon is the first thing you always want to do for uh against Erica. Generally you want a flying type. I don't have a lot of flying types, but I do have Moltres, who four times resists Grassy Glide. 
four times resist U-turn, immune to high horsepower, and is a resistance to drain punch. So, technician... Poison points the other answer for this thing, uh, but I almost feel like technician might be better. So with Erica, there's two ways you want to lead. Either you want to lead with... I'll actually show the the game here. Um, let me hide my camera for a second. With her team, you want to lead with something that's going to completely wall Rillaboom. Usually it's a poison flying, steel flying, bug flying. Uh, anything like that will just absolutely wall Rillaboom. So it's either going to stay in and just grassy glide or it's going to U-turn out immediately, most likely into Meow Skorada. Uh, Meow Skorada can be a huge threat with a Focus Sash up. So two things I either want to do is have a really, really, really good answer for Meow Skorada, or I want to have... Uh, stealth rocks up which I don't know if I have a stealth rocker do you have stealth you don't get stealth rocks yet right no you do not I think you do you have sticky webs sticky webs could be good but I don't believe you could get stealth rocks yet right I think I tried let me see here Move, relearn. No, no Stealth Rocks. So, looks like Stealth Rocks isn't going to be the... It's not going to be the strategy I'm going with. So, I'm going to need an absolute answer for Meow Skorada. And that's not easy. Um, He has Triple Axel, which would, you know, really destroy something like my Gliscor. Even with Fluffy, that's still going to destroy me. This could be my lead as well, though. This could be my lead Pokemon. I believe he is slower. Uh, let me pull up the damage calculator. Rillaboom is base 85 speed. How fast is Gly's score? 95. Oof, I'm faster. I was going to say, if I was slower, I could U-turn out. It'd be a nice slow U-turn, so I can see what he goes for first. Um, I think Moltres has to come to this battle. What was his other ability, actually? Earth Eater. That's what it was. Um, hmm... Because the Venusaur, Pressure, Guts, Water Bubble. Uh, you have the Bull Rush. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm a, a little unsure of what I'm going to do here. I don't have, like, the best Meow Skorada answer right now. I mean, a Fire type is usually the answer. So I guess it's going to have to be my Moltres is going to be the answer. Resist Flower Trick, Resist U-Turn, Neutral to Triple Axle, Neutral to Knock Off. Uh, just the Knock Off can be scary, even though it is uh, neutral. It can still be very scary. Um, But a dual wing beat with Technician should kill it. A Meow Skorada level. What level are you? Well, 43 against a Moltres. Well, 44 ability technician and a dual wing beat. Oh, it kills. It kills. So if I run this with no item, if I run this Pokemon with no item, so his knockoff can't do extra damage to me. I could just switch this in guaranteed and click dual wing beat and I kill something. Um, he would be faster. And I do need to remember his typing changes. That's the thing that scares me with Meow Skorada. It's the one you really got to be worried about because if he gets... Oh. 
Hmm. Meow Skorada, because when he switches typings, your initial plan for KOing it could go right out the window. Um. Actually. Klefki. Resist Flower Trick. Resist Knockoff. Resist U-Turn. Resist Triple Axle. And you have Fluffy. You're my answer. I lead with you. You're my answer for Meow Skorada, guaranteed. You have Steel type moves and you have Fairy moves that can deal with Meow Skorada. Uh, Shuckle... You're here for... I could send you in on the Electrode. Click Sticky Webs. It's kind of a good solution for you. Delphox with Lightning Rod. Oh, Delphox with Lightning Rod. Is really good against the Electrode. Um, of course, the explosion would be kind of expected after that. But I could... Oh, if he explosions on a turn when I switch this in, thinking he's clicking an electric move, he'd be in a lot of trouble. But what I do is, turn one, I dual wing beat with Moltres. Because dual wing beat Mol Moltres with Technician is doing too much damage. Even Rillaboom, it's level 43. Uh, Jolly Nature, you hit 100 speed, you'll out speed. Ooh, he'll outspeed. I like that, actually. He's going to outspeed me, so I'll see what he goes for first. If he goes for U-turn and switches out, that's perfectly fine. If he stays in and goes for Grassy Glide, because that's the only thing that could touch me, I'll KO him. Um, if he goes Electrode on this, I guess there's a slight chance he can click Explosion. But I think, honestly, I can go into this. And this guy is just going to... Best Boldo, Sticky Whip. I got Struggle Bug. Like, Shuckle's just going to wall this thing. All right. Rillaboom answer. Meow Skorada answer. Electrode answer. And now I get to figure out the Venusaur Meganium. Venusaur Meganium. Blissey is Meganium. Blissey walls Meganium all day. It's only special attacks. I can just destroy that thing. Um, usually a good poison type is what, I, is what I would use for it. But I don't really have the greatest poison type of all time, huh? Scizor, what is your ability? Strong jaw. Um, trying to think for the Venusaur. Scizor is not bad for the Venusaur. The Earth Power is going to do a lot of damage, though. Venusaur is a strong Pokemon. And it's pretty fast. But I think I could run this with U-Turn. And it'll do some damage. Delphox? I don't think Delphox is super necessary. And then Celebi. Do I think I need Celebi? My last thing I would need would be maybe something between the Blissey to switch back and forth with on the Meganium and the Venusaur. Another bulky special type, but they do have Sludge Bomb with Florges, and I do not like that. Sludge Bomb Florges is just not good. It's pretty scary. Empoleon has super luck. Empoleon's not terrible for the Meganium, honestly. Hmm. I mean, a Regigigas is always just kind of great, right? I could just send Regigigas in and click a strong move. I think that's the play. So this will be the team. I'll prep the team. I'll get the levels and natures all right. And then we'll start the next episode battling Erica with this squad right here. So let me know if you guys are enjoying the series, leave them some more nicknames, and I will see you in the next one when we battle Erica.